guys. Welcome to my show. All right, is that what Goose says? It does, it's not. It says, welcome to the show. All right, I messed it up. But anyways, we are gonna do a little like new Gymshark try-on type thing. It's gonna be like also a summary of why I'm leaving Gymshark, so stay tuned. So I am actually wearing a new fit from Dimshark. Obviously oversized t-shirt, like even if it's not oversized, I just say it's oversized just because I get sizes that don't fit me. What and size do you get? In, in t-shirts? Yes. Oof, it depends. If it's already oversized, I will get, well, yeah, I can't even say that because the shirt I wore the other day for the real, I got XL. <laughs> oh yeah. And it was already oversized. Yeah, that show is huge. This is a large. This is not oversized, like this is just a large. But I do that just in case I decide to be lazy and throw the, like, the clothes in the dryer. I know I can at least get like a lot of wears out of them because then like as it shrinks, it's like then it's like a medium. And that's the Miranda logic when it comes to t-shirts. If you guys saw, I don't know, you know, I don't know if you guys saw the reel. I hope you did. Some of you guys just watched and like I don't really get what you're doing here. But anyways, we're not going to talk about haters right now. We're talking about Gymshark. The video is about Gymshark. It's not about you anyways so i had a t-shirt on and it was like it's like down to here the other day remember that yeah, the other day you mean i mean two days ago okay yeah because i didn't we didn't work out yesterday yes and then top Actually, light sweatpants wait i interrupted you you're gonna say about your sweatpants oh i don't know i just like the color yeah, like, this is like a really nice green you wore a blue one I'm yesterday, royal right? blue, yeah i thought because i thought we were gonna film so i, I put those on and then we were what size are you in uh, sweatpants and joggers so these are large and I have them rolled once, so basically I I like to have the waist baggy because I like to wear either spandex or just honestly like whatever type of shorts I decide to throw on sometimes for like a leg day. I like to have room in my shorts and also, oh my god, do you see that? Lightning. Scary. I wonder if the microphone could pick up. I probably can. Yeah, crazy. So anyways, I like to have baggy or sweatpants because again, if I wash the mediums, we're gonna start looking like this for time. That's how my look. I know, and I'm just like jogger capris, not, not, a, not a thing. So, I always, I, again, I always like to size up. Honestly, in every anything I ever wear, I like to have baggier clothing, especially when it comes to the gym. I don't have baggy sports bras because you know that's silly. But I would say when it comes to t-shirts, hoodies, hoodies, I'm usually large XL, and then. Lucas will actually be like double XL. Yeah. Yeah. Like what size is that? You should actually show what you're wearing. It's nice. So this is one of Gymshark's new items right here. Miranda got me an XL in this and honestly it kind of- Double XL, no? No, the double XL was the T-shirt. You got me an XL in this oh, one. Okay. But I feel like a Power Ranger in this one. <laughs> you know, like the calf shoulders. Yeah. I'm a Power Ranger. No, it's like I said, actually like, oh wait, and these are from Gymshark too? These yeah. are older? Yeah. So these are the rest day joggers. I also think that you look good in like this style because I feel like it is kind of like a cutoff thing but it's not it's not too like exposing you know I don't look like a douche but it, I can still wear a cutoff is yeah. basically what you're saying yeah and I feel like this is good for like I would say lifting or just body bodybuilding or working out in general or know. just like if you live in Florida and you don't want to wear like a t-shirt yeah this is a good shirt like too. Lucas does not love t-shirts like this it's just not like his vibe I like oversized stuff i like like my okay i don't know i think i read about this being a part of like my pisces rising or whatever i like to be comfortable like with clothes i wear so like my actual i'm glad the stars define maybe, what you're comfortable maybe, wearing no, i'm like you look it up but i like to wear like streetwear like that's like become my like my style you know what you need to wear next well, is a bandana I'm the one that told you that. I know. Okay. So yeah, I know Lucas takes my ideas, but yeah, I can like, now I'm not saying like, this is like my streetwear, like that I would really wear, but I'm just saying I would prefer to wear like streetwear with Jordans rather than like a dress. But I can also wear a dress too. Like I don't mind. It's just for me to wear a dress, like it has to be for the occasion, it has to be for Instagram pictures or a real, uh, just like bathing suits. I mean, it's, I don't get bathing suits 
Okay, again, the lightning. It's this is like we're not making up. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't wear bathing suits just for myself. I wear them because I'm like, oh, we need new content, so therefore I need to go get a new outfit. It's pathetic, and you're probably listening to this like, gosh, you're so out of, you know, I'm really not out of reach. Ask any uh, person that you know that does social media, and they will also tell you that every time they film, they need a new outfit. It's like, I can't make it up. No, I you agree. Know? You know what I mean? I didn't agree a long time ago. Yeah, I and then we still nine agree. years later, I got to the point that I understood. Yeah. I empathized. We understand the assignment that was like literally never given. But anyways, I'm going to go uh, put on a new fit for you guys. Ta-da! These are really nice shorts. So, yeah. So would this be a leg day fit? Sorry, hold on. This is how people want people to wear it. Like when you're an influencer, you're, you can't. You can't stand like you have a stick up your ass. You actually have to like tuck it all the way in just to make everyone else feel better. All right, that was really rude. I don't really care. I'm sorry. That's the truth. I'm sorry. This is the truth. Truth hurts. Like, I know. We get it. I've slept like this my whole life. This feels, this is weirder. Well, that's not proper either. Your knees are bad. Like, I can't, yeah, whatever. Large sweatpants. So that's how you show up to the gym? Yeah. And then they come off when I'm sweating only. You know? Yeah. Yeah, these are really solid. And I'm sure, honestly, like overall, I've been very cool. I mean, my whole closet is Gymshark. I've never had this many hoodies in my life. Like I actually give Lucas my hoodie sometimes because like I wear, like I, I buy larger sizes. Which is also why I love that she buys like yeah. XL and double XL stuff. Yeah. Like I, I help him out. Yeah. You're welcome, he's, honestly. He's the plug. You are the plug. <laughs> All right, nice outfit. All right, I call this, this is like a, I just went to the beach all day. I'm not ready for bed yet. Shit. It's a good name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm going to go grocery shopping. Yeah. I'm going to cuddle up on my couch and watch a movie. No. no. Pants. Pants. I don't like the way that the couch feels on my bare legs. Does that make sense? Or you have sensitive skin. No, it, no, it's it's not about sensitive skin. <laughs> I just, it's pretty comfy, so I don't know what No, but I don't, I don't like rubbing the couch like that. Does that make sense? Like, the, you've been doing that. Like, it's like kind of like nails on a chalkboard for me. Like, yeah. I mean, it makes sense, yeah. but I don't agree. Okay, well, this is, yeah, this is, this is nice. This is a size large. Yeah, it's a solid fit. And it's like, even like, I mean, I'm not trying to be, but like, it is looser on my arms, but after some washes, we we're gonna, these are gonna shrink, you know? These are a size medium, these shorts. Those are good shorts. Yeah, the smalls would have been too, Cause like the, the point of these shorts are supposed to like, I think they're supposed to fit looser. Like these are not supposed to be like super tight. So if you wanted tight, then you'd wear spandex. But I feel like any short you wear ends up being it's okay. tight. It's okay. All right, one more. I'm really not a legging girl. So I don't really like see me wear leggings a lot on my page. For some reason, honestly, I feel like my, my whole body is just legs. You know, like if you look at me, like it's my small waist, all leg. My hip bone starts literally right here. You're like a spider. Well, I don't know why I did that, but yeah, my hip bone starts like right here. And I just feel like when I wear leggings, it's just like, where's like where's the rest of her? You know. So yeah, there's like no reason, but the vital seamless you should go get yourself a pair because they're like 30 or so off. So, code Miranda will be valid for well, when this video comes up, total of- One day. One day, yeah. So, one day to help us go out with a bang and show us support. Like louder. Ah. Louder. One more time. Ah. Louder. Ah. Okay. Just a girl and her cat. All right, I'm gonna change then. We'll get to why I am leaving 
Gymshark. All right, so we're gonna get into why I am leaving Gymshark. So with fitness brands and just brands in general, there has to be a mutual understanding and mutual respect and also mutual commitment to either one sign with the brand originally or to continue to actually stay with the brand. And if both parties do not agree, therefore that kind of like leads to the separation. For those that have been kind of like on this journey with me for a little bit, whether that's a couple years or five years or seven years, I don't know if you guys are here that long, God bless you. You know, I've actually changed brands a lot, not because I have wanted to, but because, you know, my overall, like I would say my overall well-being is way more important, I would say as of now than it was probably, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago, where, you know, if I do not feel supported by the brand or respected or the money aspect does not make sense, like I will, I will leave. I understand where my career is going. I understand where I'm going. And if a brand wants to, not sign with me my feelings are not hurt if they want to sign with me then great we can negotiate we can kind of go from there i have actually never been a gymshark athlete i have just been kind of like an influencer with the brand we originally were supposed to go down that route actually like in the very beginning of me you know being affiliated with gymshark we actually made a whole athlete video in the beginning about you know my journey and i think we had actually now posted bits and pieces of this you know it was like it was a, a youtube video where i was sitting in a chair and i had like a little half pony if you guys are familiar with when we did that but that was actually my athlete video and I actually verbalized at the end of the video and I kind of said like you know now I'm officially a Gymshark athlete so I was actually supposed to be an athlete it didn't end up playing out to be that way honestly it was okay that it didn't end up being that way like I think everything kind of happens for a reason and I also think that if it was meant to be it would it would have been already and I am 28 years old I'm not you know like young in the fitness scene anymore I, I've been you know, posting online for some time now. And I do think that Gymshark is going into a younger generation, which is completely fine. And honestly, I get it. You know, I change brands for a reason and it's not because I have been wanting to kind of like jump from here to there. Lucas and I have been doing social media for almost nine years now. I actually, it might be 10, I don't know. I, I get the, the numbers mixed up, but you know, we spend a lot of time, almost our entire lives editing, creating, talking, brainstorming, you know, this has been a huge life sacrifice. And I also wanted to say, and this is kind of like wrapping it up, but I wanted to just say thank you to you guys. Honestly, supporting me, if you're, if you're new here, I appreciate you. And if you've also been, you know, seeing me kind of transition through brand to brand to brand, and you've actually supported me and used my codes, like I, like I seriously appreciate you like so much. And, I'm constantly, like, I feel like I'm constantly, like, pushing codes in your guys' face, and honestly, I apologize for that, because I probably, on your end, could see how it's annoying, but this is what I have to do, and I also think that codes are slowly, like, starting to diminish. For me, personally, I'd actually rather do more advertising rather than kind of, like, pushing a, a code, because I, I do feel like every product now is everywhere. I mean, you can go to, you know, the gas station, Target, CVS, I mean, they like, this is everywhere, you know? So where I was at with social media five years ago where codes were like, we were like really pushing codes because they didn't have as many products in the store. That was way different than like what it is now. So on that note, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a cute little, you know, quick little try on. And you know, Gymshark and I do not have any bad blood. You know, again, reiterating, I was never an athlete. I just kind of did advertising with them. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity that they gave me. I'm very grateful to have been with them for a full year. And I mean, my entire closet is, is full of Gymshark and, you know, I'm, I'm very appreciative to have had this experience. And I also appreciate, you know, internationally and honestly globally, the fact that my code has been used like all over the world. Like that is really, honestly, sometimes weird for me to even think about. And as much as people have made my like international followers a problem, I'm appreciative for you guys and you know, whoever decides to follow me, I appreciate you, you know, so thank you guys for being here. Thanks for using my codes. Thank you for liking my posts, commenting, subscribing, sharing my posts. I, I don't see everything, but I see a lot of it and I am always touched and you guys help keep me going and you guys help keep this entire beautifully chaotic yet very stressful journey uh, continuing. So thank you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.